<laughs> Fuck me, you should have seen the face that he would have slaughtered that kid right there and then. What did he say? He goes, you don't get coked up on my fucking premises. <laughs> what did you fucking say? I said, listen, Billy, you cunt. If you don't like the way we do business, you can fuck your gear. He was like, no, 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 you're all right, Tony, you're all right. Silly cunt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay now. <laughs> so what's the plan then, Tony? Play lands, and we're off the cunts. Who the fuck do they think they are being gearing on our turf? Fucking mugs. We're gonna need to get tooled up then. Thing is, I'm gonna be fucking rocking up there like a the magnificent seven. We're gonna need some serious wheels. You still get your hands on that Range Rover? Yeah. Smash it. I'd say Pat's life in the dam, that much was true. Plus, Tuntucker had a fresh supply. Fuck me. Darren fucking Nichols. Fuck me. Hello, Ronnie. Haven't you heard? I've dropped the middle name now, mate. Come here, mate. Let me look at you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? Oh, I'm just fucking some bird round the way after this. I'm back down Basel. Nah, fuck that. Come have a few games in that. Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> well, that was the tricky bit sorted. And now for the R part, getting him talking. And there was only one way Ronnie Walsh was going to do that. <laughs> 